We've now zoomed in to the corner of our thick walled models that we have created. Um, as we discussed a little bit earlier, the way that we're going to control any type of fenestration in the exterior of the building, such as a window or a door, on a thin walled model is going to be by our materials and their opacity values. And again, for more information on that, refer to the white papers on the IES website. But when it comes to thick wall models, we have to do a little bit more with them. And the way that we're going to use um, and set up windows and doors is going to be through our components. And we can use pretty much any component we get off of 3D Warehouse that has the ability, and I'm just going to show you here, to be housed to a surface like this. Um, any component that you get off of, 3D Warehouse, you can actually use um, if you make adjustments to it. But remember, it has to have this ability, and that's going to make it able to be used for the push-pull through option. Um, and I'll show you what that is coming along. So I'm just going to place a door on the exterior surface of the building. And I want this door to actually be going through. But again, it's just housed on that first surface right now. It's just one of the Google components. Um, and again, I'll just pull this over. I like to use components by Google if possible um, because really all they're doing is cutting a penetration in my building and I know that they're probably set up fairly well and they're pretty small for my and will be fairly small inside of my model. So I'm going to close this out. Now that we have this set up, we're actually going to go up and assign this as a door. I'm also going to turn on the transparency here so you can see that this is the thick bottle model wall model we created earlier um, and the door is housed on that surface. So now that it's selected, I'm going into my components and you can see that I have the door here available from this drop down menu and it says what do I want to use this for? If I had different groups or different components, I have options to use them as all types of things, whether it's shade, um, if I have an adjacent building, I will group that and set it to shade, windows, doors, um, and we'll get into whole rooms in a little bit, um, as well as room surfaces. But in this case, we're setting this to a door. So I'm just going to save this. And the next option I have to do, because I'm working with a thick walled model, to let it know that this is going to penetrate all the way through these two walls. I'm going to choose this option up here that is my push doors, windows through thick walls tool. Once I hit this, this is actually going to penetrate through the entire exterior wall or interior wall. Um, you can select multiple components and groups at the same time, as long as they are set as window or door. You're going to be able to push-pull them through together. Now that this has been set up, one of the nice things is, is this is going to move with you. So when you have to move this component around, it's actually all still attached. So this penetration, if you were doing a couple options, for example, and you wanted to move the doors or windows around, you're not going to have to re-penetrate them. That will stick with it. You're just going to have to resave your model, and you're going to have to find your rooms again.